Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to World Away, and we now got part 28 of Diagostini's Build Your Own X-Wing. Now once again, before I get onto the magazine, uh, let's just show you what we've actually got in this issue. We're doing a lot of bits for the frame here, and I'll just lay some of them out. We've got four lots of screws to do, uh, and we've got a bracket, and we've also got uh, an LED to plug in, which should be all fun. But what we also got was all of these pipes. Now, I remember these pipes from the first wing we done, and I thought to myself, this is gonna be a pain in the neck issue, uh, because these are a living nightmare to do. Uh, chances are, though, we don't actually do this until the next issue. So they've provided some parts for an issue, but we have to save it till the next one, which means issue 29 is gonna be a living mare. But uh, let's show you what we've actually got to do in this issue. Now, while I was going through the magazine, I was interested to see this. This is the U-Wing um, craft from the new uh, lots of Star Wars films. Uh, I actually built one of these from uh, Metal Earths. Uh, I don't know what models sort of, they're like metal etch parts puzzle models looking just like that. But this, was really cool and uh, I don't know if I've actually introduced you to these before but uh, what I have done is I put a link down the bottom as you've noticed there and I've put pretty much all of these metal puzzle sort of things uh, in my Amazon store both in the UK and the US uh, so you can have a look at for yourself but they are fun to make and uh, they do look really good on my shelf but I thought I can't remember telling you about these so uh, I thought I'd show you one that's actually been complete. That one was actually classed as challenging, so uh, uh, that's probably as hard as they'll get. But they've got things like Kylo Ren's helmet, R2-D2, Star Destroyer, a TIE Fighter X-Wing. They've got loads. Just have a check of my Amazon store out and you'll be able to see uh, what they've got. But in the magazine, what we're going to do is we're going to be bringing over the two parts of the wing that we've been working on previously. And then we're going to be reinforcing it with all of this metal frame here. As I said, all the pipes and stuff here, that's not actually used. And then we're going to be taking the LED cable here and we're going to be trunking that around the completed wing. So at the end, we're just basically going to have this whole setup here ready for issue 29, which as we know is going to be some of the pipe work. So uh, that's going to be a fun one. I've just had a difficult one with a Bismarck. I didn't expect to have another one so soon of the X-Wing. I have been printing uh, my Ark of the Covenant, which is currently looking like this at the moment. See, the lid comes off. It's really, really good, actually. But uh, as you can see at the moment, I'm printing the angels that go on top, and then I'm going to paint all that gold. Should look pretty cool. But I am also in the dilemma that we've got one more X-Wing video to do, and I've got one more Bismarck. Hopefully, I can pick up a Spitfire this week, and hopefully, I can pick up a Terminator this week, and hopefully, I can do my victory. Other than that... I'm completely caught up. That's everything done. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to find some more content and we'll have a delivery. Otherwise, uh, the videos won't be every other day, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm going to try and keep you amused anyway. We've got the live stream on Thursday, so uh, that's all going to be fun. But look, without further ado, let's get cracking on this episode of the X-Wing. So basically, we're going to take the two parts that we've completed in an earlier issue. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five lugs there. They're going to go over the five lug holes. One, two, three, four, five that we can see here. And they're going to go over just like that. Now, these are all going to be kept in place with XW02 screws. And we've got hundreds of these. So I'm going to open them up, spill loads of them up. And then we're going to be putting five screws into those holes that you see there. So here's the first one. These go in really easy. But uh, this is another wing beginning to form. And it is quite a detailed issue, but I'm telling you, issue 29, I'm not looking forward to that at all. I know uh, I was watching some of Robbie Bobby's stream last night. He was doing 28 and 29 together. And uh, I remember the last time I put the piping in, I made such a pig's ear of it, I had to buy the magazine again. So it'd be interesting to see how I get on next time. You've got to be a brave person to want to do a live stream of that issue, that's for sure. There you go, that's all five screws completely in. Now we want to take this part, which is a smaller engine mount piece. This is just going to go over the two lugs you can see on the top camera there. And that's just going to sit in like that. Now at the moment, we're just going to be placing parts all in. And then we'll screw it all down afterwards. So that's the first brace that we put in. The next part is the inner wing frame. This is metal. And this is just going to go in like this. On top of that piece that we just put in there. And then we're going to take this other brace here and that's going to fit over the top of these two lugs here and just sit in like that. 
now we have the fun of screwing all of that into place so first of all we're using xwo2 screws and we're going to screw in the two holes here that we've got from the first engine brace we put in so that's number one and that's number two now when we secure all this down we're using the grand total of i think three screws three different screws so we've got xwo2 that we've just used in those sections there we're going to use the same screws just for these two areas up here these are xwo2 as well so that's one and finally and here's the second one and they're nice and tight into place and then these four holes on this brace just at the top here they're going to need the xwo2s as well so that's one lots of screws in these keeping this frame into place and obviously as you know <laughs> we're never going to see this frame again so here's number three and finally number four now that's the last of the xwo2 screws now we need to open that xwo4 screws so get them open and the first ones of the xwo4 are going to go into these two holes here so this is the first one these are a lot smaller than the xwo2 and this one here nice and tight we're going to use xwo4 on these three sides of the frame as well so i'll put one in the center first one on this side and the final one just at the top here there you go then we need to cut open the xwo3 screws god there's so many different kinds of screws we're using here and the first xwo3 is just going to go into the center one here nice and tight and then another one just down the bottom here then on the first brace that we put in we've got to put a couple of xwo3s in there as well you can see that this is never coming out can't you <laughs> i can't believe how many screws we have to put into this and here's the second one that's all the xwo3s which just leaves us with xwo5 screws and they're just going to take up the place of these three holes here so we get these in number one number two and last but not least number three which leaves one other hole here to do which is this one at the top here and that's the last screw that we have to put in for the frame and there you go nice and tight loads of screws that's what it looks like from that side and that's what it looks like from that side next we're going to be taking the led extension lead looking just like this we want this end with the block and this is just going to be pushed into the alcove just here like this just into place not over the hole just wants to go as you can see there just on the edge of the hole and then we want to trowel this lead round. Now what I did last time was I had some masking tape and this will just help to trowel the wires. But as you can see on the close-up camera there, you have got some little pinch points there which should hold the wire in place. Now to help you with this, it's good to have your screwdriver handy. So let's get this round. And I'll put one in there. You can never use too much masking tape for this because this is just going to be removed into the next step. Then we want to put it under the trunk in at the back here so i'll put that in and then pull it around like that put another little bit just on there feed it into this trunking section here Oh, 
once again hold it in place a bit of masking tape now when we get to this section here it's going to go through this little slot here like that down into this channel and it's fed behind these pins at the back just to keep that into place just like that once again I'll keep that in place with some masking tape round the pin on this side over here like that then it's going to go in between these clips here we want it in between the top one there so I'll put this in just like that and now that's in place and once again just while that's being trained in I'm just going to pin that down with a little bit of masking tape so that doesn't move from there and that is now that episode completed with the wire traced around so we've got the extension in at this end and the actual plug at this end here and that's all we have to do in this issue and now this issue is ready to set me up for part 29 which i really am not looking forward to and it's good that these hatches still open up just like that so i thought i'd show you that as well so we're going to have part 29 to wait for so today is wednesday hopefully i'll have a spitfire out tomorrow but if it hasn't turned up we'll have a bismarck which means that this next x-wing which i'm not looking forward to part 29 is either going to be out on friday saturday or sunday but uh i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please remember to subscribe and what's more please at this crazy time we're living in stay safe and take care